and welcome to my kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to butterfly some pork loin chops all by yourself. Now we go to the grocery store right and I like boneless butterfly pork loin chops but do you know that they are almost six dollars and sometimes more per pound and you can do it yourself if you buy a pork loin and know how to cut it and you're going to pay about 50% less than what they're charging you in the grocery store and you're going to get twice as much for the same amount. So let's see how we do this. First you want to get yourself a nice piece of pork loin and this was a $13 piece of pork loin and what you're going to do is you want to cut them very thick. And you just kind of divide it up into some good chunks and the phone always rings when I get on camera. Okay. And you don't have to make them as thick as I have, but I uh, we're going to grill these, so we do want them to be... The one on the end is probably going to be a little thin, but that's all right. So we got three chops, I mean six chops, pardon me. Okay, I'm just going to set these up to the side and I'm going to show you one. Now, you always want to cut with the fat cap up. You want a good sharp knife and now what you're going to do is you're going to eyeball in the middle of that slice, okay? just like that and you're going to cut and if you have a good sharp knife this isn't going to be a problem you're not going to go all the way down you're going to go almost all the way down and then you're going to open it up and that is a butterfly pork chop right there perfectly done that's what it looks like on the other side beautiful and you set it over. You get yourself another piece. You eyeball the middle. You can slice it like this. You'll see some butchers um, will do it by just drawing their knife through the center of the meat. And you can kind of feel how far you need to go because once it starts to rest open nicely and nice and flat like that, then you know you need to stop cutting. And then off you go onto the plate. And this is our skinny one from the end, I think. You might have to hold it differently, but just be careful, that's all. And this, is a, this one's going to be a little tricky because it's thinner. This one will also take less time to cook. It's also uneven because it was on the end. But there you go. And overall, it's not that much different on the, you know, on the two lobes. So that one we may just grill the way it is. But. And knowing how to do these things, butterflying your own pork chops, grinding your own ground beef, um, deboning a chicken, these are all important things to know how to do, not just from a self-sufficiency perspective, but from a wallet, you know, money-saving perspective. I mean, come on. You buy cut up chicken, they are charging you for the butcher to do that. You buy pork chops like this, and they are charging you, and they're charging you double. The price on the butterfly pork loin chops was $5.98 a pound, okay? That's $6 a pound. The price for the pork loin itself was $2.98 a pound. And pork loin goes on sale often. You can oftentimes get it for much less. Now this, honestly, I don't think I'm going to butterfly because that piece of meat is too thin. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to leave it like that. Yeah. But look at that. So we're going to wash our hands with soap and water. And that one will go on first because it's the thickest it will take the longest to cook. 
And I don't know that it's that much thicker than the others, but yeah, it is a little okay. bit thicker. Okay, so. There we go, a nice platter full of butterfly pork chops that you did yourself that would have cost the same amount, would have cost $24. Okay, I paid 12 for the pork loin. But I didn't because I did it myself. So, see how easy that was? I hope this helps. I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.